Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to scare anybody. Everybody, it's Eric with another Jazz Wars Fortnite 4 inch action figure review. And finally, we're getting to the ATK with the Stinger Wrap, the All Terrain Cart, including Copper Wasp. And of course, Copper Wasp comes with the Power Punch Pickaxe. So we'll be checking all of this out and comparing it to the original ATK right here. All right, so let's take a closer look at this box. Zooming in, you have Copper Wasp looking really nice. All right. And, of course, you can try me. And we've seen that. The blue on the side. And I'm assuming the brake lights in the back glow red like the old ATK. One vehicle, one remote control, one figure. Golf bag and harvesting tool. Batteries are included, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. They are included. I like the box for the ATK. And on the back, lights and sounds, boost effect. Oh, look at that. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Got the crew, got the crew looking good. I like it. Also available, equalizer. We got the battle bus. We got the baller. Transforming drift board. I have not seen those. Uh, some of you guys have sent me pictures in the Discord uh, page server. So I appreciate that. Copper Wasp, Karate Master, known for his vicious sting. Okay, pretty cool. Well, with that, let's get cracking. All right, everything's out of the box. Let's take a look at the figure first. Uh, I guess we'll start with the Harvesting Tool Power Punch Pick. Bring the lights in here. Power Punch Pick, very interesting. I'm trying to show you the right angle there. That's probably it. That is a power punch for sure. Nice details on the back of the arm there. I like that a lot. Yeah, very unique harvesting tool in toy form. And I like it. It's coming at you. All right, pretty cool. Copper Wasp. Let's see what's going on. He looks good. Got like some soft rubber on the bandana on the back of the bandana uh it's hard plastic here no give there uh, his belt is sculpted in yeah with the garment there okay his antenna oh yeah those are very bendy this is cool it's got the logo on the back. I don't know what that means. Does anybody uh, know what that means? Is it a language? Is it just made up? Uh, his hands are kind of those... This one's really kind of open. Probably to handle the steering wheel of the ATK. But I like the wrap there. Some really nice details. His feet. Copper wasp feet. Holes in the bottom of his feet. Yeah, pretty pretty cool figure. All right, let's check out some articulation. Head can go up really good, down really good. 
It can rotate without any problem. How about the arm? Yeah, it kind of goes out to the side because of this. This is not going to give. But you have full rotation. How about at the elbow? Uh, shy of 90 degrees. Uh, he can lift his, yeah, like that. Lift his arm pretty good. And we have a hinge. And rotation at the wrist. Works really nice. Uh, we have the ball and the upper torso. Waist, swivel, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. And a hinge and ankle pivot at the ankles. So very articulated figure as all the Jazz Wars 4-inch Fortnite figures are. But we want to know if this gentleman can do the splits. <laughs> Boom! Just like a karate master should, he can do the splits. How about sideways splits? <laughs> all right, not bad, not bad. You know, his butt kind of gets in the way of uh, sideways splits. It's rare that they do sideways splits so well. Yeah, this is a great figure. I really do like Copper Wasp. Yeah, very nice. All right, let's show you aesthetically what's uh, going on with the new Stinger ATK. Uh, yes, you get a golf bag, the same one we got with this ATK. So not much new there, except the instructions show that you can put, you know, power punch in there, but it doesn't really work. All right, aesthetically... Let's just sort of compare them like this. These are the fronts of the ATKs. Uh, you got, you know, Tomato Head and Durburger there, so no differences there. I don't think there's any physical difference between the two. It's just all color. And uh, I do like the original ATK, but this is very sharp. So, yeah. Like that, that's the sides. I like the orange uh, seats, that really uh, shows up good. Same with the trim on here. We got, uh, I mean, on the left, those uh, foot pads are black, that's kind of boring. On the right, we have some nice uh, blue foot pads. The pegs are easily visible, and uh, you have got that orange trim, so that's really nice. And on this side here, Again, a lot is the same. Some things are different. Uh, on the tops there, again, that's a good look. I like the blue with the copper, pretty cool. How about on the bottoms, anything different going on? Probably not, except we have a sticker. I like the switch on the right is that orange plastic. That's kind of cool. And a replace with the batteries there. All right, so very nice. Yep, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so these are the controls we get with this ATK. They look the same as the last one. Uh, you turn things on, it's gonna flash. And then you gotta turn on your ATK here. Uh, there's a try me mode, off and on. And we get the rear, did you see that? Oh, it says ATK, that's pretty cool. I always thought these were like the uh, brake lights, but I guess this is more like, well, you'll see what I mean. Maybe they are brake lights. All right, so this knob is forward. Okay, and you'll get the uh, the blue light there on the sides. There you go, and backward if you push down, forward and back. And it works really nice, it's got a lot of power. And I like the wheels, the wheels are rubber. And that really does give this uh, vehicle some strength and going over some obstacles, which I really like. And uh, this is basically your left and your right. Your right and left, and you can see the wheels responding right there. So everything's checking out pretty good. Yeah. So there is the rear of the vehicle. So if I go forward, you get the blue light on the side. If you go back, you get the red light. That's why I always thought that was a brake light. Going back, very powerful. Going forward. So yeah, everything's checking out all right. Uh, let's take this bad boy for a spin. Oh, and before we do that, let me uh, share a little tip. Let's turn this off. So when you take your ATK outside, um, you might want to do a few things. This uh, flag, 
this is a bigger piece, but it comes out. You might want to take that out, but you really might want to take this part out. This little like, is it a break? Because all it is is in a little peg and it's black and it's going to be easily lost. It just pulls right out. And I think I've lost one already on another ATK that I have. The steering, the steering wheel is pretty good. Uh, on the top here, in the roof, comes off all the ATKs that just four pegs. But I already lost a Dur Burger and a tomato head because maybe they glued it in now. Looks like they glued it in. Okay. On the old ATK before that one, uh, it was not glued in and I lost it. But it appears that is glued in and that's a nice touch because easily lost. Uh, steering wheel. Okay, so just, yeah, that little peg there for the hand manual brake. You definitely want to take that out. One last thing I forgot to mention before we take this thing outside, there is the button here on the hood that you can push. There are basically three sounds with light features and the tires will not move. So if you just want to play and not have the car zip around. All right, so here's the first. And the blue light lit up. There you go. That's nice and short. And then both lights and a horn. So very good. And the turbo sound. All right, let's try off road. Come on, you can do it. There you go, run over that guy. Oh, I turned the wrong way, that's my fault. You can do it. Needs to get momentum, maybe a new set of batteries. All right, we're on the street. Let's take the ATK out. Whoa, look at that. All right, I think it's got more power now. It probably needs a new set of batteries. It didn't do so good in the uh, wood chips. I'm just gonna, let's keep it going. Let's see, I can go back to, no, it kind of lost control right about there. All right, will it come back? Uh, <laughs> come back. Come back oh yeah oh yeah come on come on it wants to come back it wants to come back come on you can come back we'll do it in reverse i like it there it comes we'll just let's, let's see if we can turn this thing around there you go atk well coming back not bad All right, so what's my final verdict on the Stinger Wrap ATK with Copper Wasp? Yes, I recommend it. I think you got to get it. Here's why. Uh, the RC ATKs are very reliable. I mean, yeah, the baller broke on me. That drone wasn't cooperating with me. Um, but these things, you can beat the heck out of them. They are tough. The engines are strong. These tires are very good on the street. Inside, of course, but outside, on the street, on the road, in the dirt, these things are money. Uh, they perform as they should. So I highly recommend any of the ATKs. And uh, heck, get the old one and get the new one and race them. That's the way to go. All right, if you're new here, please subscribe. We would love to have you as part of our community. Leave a comment. Are you thinking about picking up the Stinger ATK? What do you guys think? Do you like Copper Wasp? Smash that like button if you like what I'm doing here. Share this video with your friends. We're almost at 6,000 subscribers. Help me push this channel, guys. I really appreciate it. All right. Everybody have a great day, a great night. And as always, I will see you on the new.